Hello, church family. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. On Sunday evening, May 19th, we're going to have a special business meeting, which is going to be a pretty important business meeting. And so I thought it made sense to make this video to give you some backstory, hopefully to answer some of your questions before that evening and make it so that our time together will be more efficient and go more smoothly. So the main reason that we're having this business meeting is to consider and then vote on a recommendation from the Long Range Planning Committee. So back at the end of last year, we elected a long range planning committee, but that was predated by about a year of recognizing that God was doing some new things in our church. After COVID, we began growing again. We've grown and outgrown our facility, uh, at least at 11 o'clock. And um, we've been noticing a lot of things happening in our community in terms of building projects and new home construction. And so even before the end of last year, we realized we needed to do something. So we elected a new long range planning committee at the end of last year. That I think is the sixth long range planning committee that we've had since I've been your pastor for the last 19 years. And like the previous long range planning committees, this planning committee had a lot of work to do and we all start in the same place just to talk about who we are as a church, what makes Dayton Avenue unique what are the core values that we hold on to that we don't want to see change, even though a lot of other things change? It's really important that we know who we are first before we talk about what's next. And so we did that. The Long Range Planning Committee did a SWOT analysis where we looked at our strengths, our weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. A lot of research went into that, especially in the opportunity side of things. There's things that are happening in terms of new businesses coming into the community, um, what's happening on base, what's happening in the city of Xenia, uh, which is doing a new development um, program and all of that information and documentation, as well as all those new housing starts that we've talked about recently. So we went through all of those opportunities and we came to a conclusion pretty quickly that was the same conclusion that every previous long range planning committee came to. And that was, that we don't want to put a no vacancy sign out in front of our church. That we don't want it to seem like we're too full for new people. So we want to have a church where whoever God brings in for us to minister to, we will have room and welcome them. And so that became pretty clear up front. but we needed then to talk about what are our options. And so the Long Range Planning Committee spent time talking about, should we do a church plant? Should we do another church, help another church perhaps revitalize and get their feet on the ground? What about the rest of the land that we have? Should we develop it? What about a relocation? What about engineering what we do on a Sunday morning in order to squeeze even more people in? And, and while none of those options are mutually exclusive, the Lord may open it up for us to do more than one, it became pretty clear to the committee that we needed to pursue and to focus on making room by building and by growing in that way. And so um, the Long Range Planning Committee began researching architectural firms. We contacted a bunch of them, but ultimately three of them came. We asked them to come for an on-site, on-campus visit. We spent hours with each one of them, walking them through our buildings and around our campus, telling them about our ministry, telling them about what we saw coming down the road, what we thought God might have for us. And we asked all three of those firms to go back and put a presentation together about how they felt they brought strength to us to help us determine what the Lord might have us to do. We asked them to come back and do those presentations. And so we did that. All three of them came back and they did a 45 minute presentation to the committee. We asked a lot of questions. And at the end of all those presentations, the committee decided on their number one and number two choices. Because we had a number one, we decided we need to do even more in-depth vetting. And so a number of the committee members went and made site visits on current uh, or recent construction projects that our number one choice was involved with, talked to all the people that were involved in those projects at the church level. And what we found in all of that vetting and all of that additional research was that uh, we were reinforced a lot of really encouraging uh, responses from everybody that's worked with this firm. And so the Long Range Planning Committee at that meeting on May the 19th is going to bring a recommendation 
that we take the next step with McKnight Group. The McKnight Group is a, uh, they do exclusively church buildings, and so they're a design build firm. Um, they, they do some Christian schools as well, but it's, it's, it's pretty much all Christian ministry and church ministry here, primarily in Ohio. They're based out of Grove City, um, but they do it around the country as well, but primarily in the Midwest. And so um, the recommendation is going to be that we contract with them to do a feasibility study. The cost of that study is going to be just under $12,000, but that study gets a lot accomplished. So that study is going to include in-depth research between McKnight and our church leaders and church ministry leaders talking to all of us about what we do in ministry and how we are growing and the recent trends we see, what's coming in the near term and in the long term as well. And so they will assess all that information. We'll go back and forth. They'll put together a site plan development, which will be a concept of some drawings about how our entire facility, our entire campus could be developed over multiple phases for what God may do here. But the primary focus of this feasibility study is what we need to do like in a phase one. What's the most important thing that we need to do? So there's going to be a lot of concentration and much more detail on what we need to do next. So um, what a building would look like, uh, details about how that building would function, how it connects with our other buildings and so on, as well as a rough estimate of what a building like that would cost us. Now, all of that information and all of that study is going to take place if we vote to accept this recommendation, will take place over the next couple months. When we get that information back, and we iterated a few times with McKnight until it looks to be what we think is a good proposal, we'll bring all of that information back to you probably sometime in the September timeframe. So we'll have another business meeting where we can talk with more details, more specific information about what that next step would look like. So. All of that is where we're heading on Sunday night, May 19th, and hopefully this answers some of your questions. Hopefully it piques your interest so that you'll want to be there. We really do want you to be there, if at all possible. It will be an important meeting. You'll have a chance to interact with what we're saying, ask questions, and we recognize that child care is important. So there'll be some child care, and there'll be some activities that your children can do during the meeting to keep them occupied so that you can pay attention during the meeting as well. So. All that's happening 6 p.m. on Sunday night, May the 19th. I really hope that you can be there. Now, before I close this video, I just want to share a couple more things with you. Um, we're going to have some new missionaries move into our mission home at the end of this month. And these missionaries that are coming have been in our mission home before. So some of you already have relationships and friendships built with them, and we'll be seeing them in church more often. That is one of the great advantages of having a mission home ministry. We as a church family get to make partnerships and friendships with these missionaries who are serving God around the world, and they infect us with missions and with serving the Lord. And so I really want to encourage you, when you see those new missionaries come, that you take advantage of their being here. Invite them into your home. Let them expose you and infect you with missions and your families. And so I really want to encourage you to do that. And while I'm talking about missions, Another exciting thing that's happened in our church is we are doing more and more short-term missions projects and teams. And so many of you have done and will be doing short-term missions trips. And as that has been growing, one of the issues that we need to discuss and work our way through is that when people go on a short-term mission trip, you as a church family come alongside them, supporting them financially and prayerfully, and when they come back, they're so excited. They want to thank all of those who've partnered with them and show their gratitude for your partnership. But we've been unable to tell them who has been on their support team because our donor information has been kept confidential in the past. So Pastor Tim and the pastors, other, other pastors on staff, we're discussing how we can do both of those things. Protect you as donors and that information, but at the same time, make some of that information available to those who are going on short-term mission trips so that they not only can express their gratitude to you, but it's a way for us to demonstrate just how important how important your partnership um, in a short-term missions program is. Whether you're the goer or you're the sender, that is a really important partnership. So pray for us as we try to sort through that and make a decision and come to some agreement where both of those things can be done well. Thanks for watching this video. 
I hope to see you on May 19th. God bless you. Have a wonderful week.